Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just take this job. I've got a fragile, high value, and a urgent delivery here. So it puts it up at 1.41 euros per kilometer. So welcome to Real Economy Trucking Euro style here. So definitely thanks for popping over. I'm running a real economy mod here, just uh, seeing if I can survive and just enjoying the game with uh, the Pro Mods map. So let's take a peek. All right. So I need to head and, and get this. Okay, it looks like. Wait, I'm really confused. Am I here? It looks like there's both that are... Ca oh no, it's over there. Interesting. So it's just so close. It's literally right next door though. Okay. So that makes more sense. So turn right, I think and then I can turn just right. take this corner, stay off the road even, in case turn there's right. any traffic. Oh, interesting. Well, I'll get the corner when I leave. I literally didn't discover the intersection because of the way I drove. So, Kok... Kokbora? I don't know how you'd say that. Alright. So... Cars. There we go. So yeah, it's definitely the, the highest I can do here. Now, the challenge is I have no ability to rest. It looks like I have six hours, so I might be okay. I don't know for that many kilometers. 250 is, I mean, it's a little bit, a little bit longer, but it's kind of where I'm set at my normal rate because I don't want the episodes to, to be too terribly long. All right, so we are heading out here. So as you might expect, just a, a good set of cars. So 250 kilometers. Yeah, my trip meter was 363 on the last one, so I think this actually puts me back to kind of the distance I normally had. Always looking for feedback on what, what you guys think, if you want to see longer runs, and you'd rather things go longer, substantially longer than the half hour, just obviously... You know, I'm, I'm thinking, it seems to be the sweet spot of gaming videos for most things is 30 minutes to an hour, and that's why I've always had kind of that target. Plus it also seems somewhat reasonable that I can chat as I drive for that period of time without too much effort, where otherwise it gets a little bit difficult. So, uh, we've talked about perhaps, you know, a dry spell at some point. So I think at this point I would say they're telegraphing a little bit to me. West Balkans is coming soon. So they've released an open beta, and they being uh, SCS, the creator of the Truck Sim franchise, American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2 that I do on the channel here. But they've released the beta, which obviously means then that will be coming, that they say is specifically in preparation for the release of West Balkans. So I would think that maybe then at 1.49 or maybe 1.50, if they don't go to a 1.410, is when we'll see West Balkans. So they're doing a 1.48.5, saying they're not doing a full point release because most of the things are just cleaning up the database and doing whatever else they need to do to get the links in there. So 
I'm, once the beta comes out, I think I'm going to be kind of... Ooh, loud train. Cool. I don't know that I've had one this close any time recently, so I liked the fact that you could hear it coming, hear it going. So when it comes out, like, that will be an indicator. It's just a matter of whether I'll be able to take a, advantage of it and say, hmm, maybe I better do a little bit of a marathon play slash recording session and get four, five, six episodes together at once and then at least keep up on a weekly basis to just make sure I'm that far ahead to get me through the new map. But uh, we'll see how things go because as this sits, I'm actually recording this on the day it's technically supposed to, well, not technically, uh, I'll be publishing it immediately after I finish. So, I'm, I'm running behind, so I'm definitely running into challenges just uh, with work schedule and so forth now, and less gaming time, kind of keeping up on a daily content thing, so that may s need to start to wane trying not to have that be the case because I do think that's part of what helps people and, and keeps people interested is they know they're going to see a golf video right now and then uh, something something else on any given day. I just want to make sure that this is correct but it's a very weird setup for an entrance ramp here but I guess I can see why, because turning and, and trying to enter... Uh, well, but the road... I guess it is turning a bit. I'm not sure. For whatever reason, this is how they did the intersection. So, this is what we've got. But, that's coming. Yeah, I won't be able to at least now, do uh, any videos beyond this one, so uh, it's not abnormal for me to probably do two together at a time, um, but I can't even do that. I've got to run off and uh, do some some errands and so forth after this. So I'm just going to kind of get this rendering, or maybe get it rendered and, and start it uploading so that at least it's going to be done by the time I return, and at least I can have it to folks who may be looking for it uh, almost, or, or as close to on time as I can, I should say, because um, it's not going to be on time. I think I'll actually be driving during the time, the 7 a.m. Eastern time, when this normally would post. But in any event, just trying to get this delivered and continuing to see how we do, but more importantly, get to see uh, the location. Uh, you know, I've not, not driven this area as often. Um, it, it's just hard because the problem is with Euro Truck, it's not as... <sighs> Mem the way I'm going to say it is going to sound terrible, but it's not at all what I mean. I mean, I love the fact that, again, these are areas and roadways and methods and whatever that I'm just completely unfamiliar with being an American, that I'm not here in Europe driving these at all. So I was going to say they're less memorable, where, like, I can tell you I drive the little stretch by Provo, Utah, an American Keep truck right. simulator all and the time because it also sits in my mental map a little bit more readily than having this entire mental map of Europe because there's just so much more roadway in Euro Truck Simulator 2 especially with pro mods compared to what exists in ATS so there's a lot less things to recall uh, plus, I'm just more familiar internally with, like, the American landmarks, so I know, like, 
you know, what might be in Moab, what I should expect to see in Las Vegas with all the casinos and so forth. So, like, I, I, in my mental map, I also understand what I'll see, and I certainly don't know as I'm coming here to Piotesti, which I think is how, you, how you'd say it. Couldn't tell you, you know, what Potesti Romania is. It's this. But I won't remember it next time and say, oh yeah, we're going to drive through Potesti, and that's what we're going to see. Now again, just like the U.S., Europe is certainly similar, because... <laughs> I don't know. It's early. I, I didn't get a lot of sleep. Maybe a lot of stupid things will come out of my mouth this morning. Humans live here just like humans live in in America and humans kind of have the same needs in civilization where you know there's offices and warehouses and you know we're doing the same thing it's just you have the cab over trucks being more common here where those have gone away as as standard in the US and you know but other than that that was to me an industrial city is where I'm getting at and there's industrial cities in the US and so it's not abnormal to see an industrial city and so I could kind of default to I bet it'll be in an industrial city oh there's some army jet there so this must be an area we're coming to where there's a military base or something I'm just going off the fact that again an ATS when we go by where some famous Air Force bases are that they've chosen to put those kind of fighter jets flying through the sky in. So I'm guessing Exit now. somewhere around here that's what we have too. Or this could be a pro mod section and the modders said I love airplanes and I'm going to put in a little fighter. I don't know. We've got under a hundred kilometers now. Yeah, but what I may start doing is I know sometimes I felt if I do a short run and it takes me 15 minutes, I'm like, ah, I'll do another and hope I can find another 15 minutes. And sometimes that backfires. What I may do is just get more into a pattern of an episode is a run, and that's it. And if it's a 10 minute run, it's a 10 minute run. And, you know, that will help just make sure that there's something out there for someone who's looking for Euro Truck content. Oh, boy. I did not realize. Ay, ay, ay. Again, 140 Euros when I'm on real economy. Uh, that, that's a fine. But I don't know how fast I was going. I mean, now I see... I can only go 50, so I'll be careful here, but... Hmm. Well, that is not a good result. I certainly would prefer to have avoided that. Alright, so... This one, I would say, though, looks more industrial than Potesti right now. This is just... You know, and it's definitely... Uh, I was had the the blessing of working in Berlin for a bit and so I kind of got to see that western style architecture that obviously is similar to the US to the what would be behind the Iron Curtain side and R Romania certainly used to be one of those so I would say it definitely looks to be kind of the Soviet style bunker buildings alright I better slow down again because I'm going significantly faster and it's still 50. So Craiova is where I am going. That is a cool looking bridge with the pillars and so forth. I have no idea. Again, ge river geography. I have a hard enough time in the U.S. like I know where the Mississippi is. Alright, and now our loan installment went out. But yeah, getting penalties and all of that does not help my profit situation. But 
I don't know what river. I assume this is a river of some sort. It could be some sort of a lake, marsh. I don't know. All right, well, now we're back up to uh, 80. So let me shrink that down a bit because I was up to 90 kilometers on my GPS. But yeah, you know, feedback's always welcome no matter what. I love communicating with you guys. Uh, the other thing you'll see I, if you're if you're on the Discord, and if you're not, I, I welcome you to go take a peek. You know, it's still a small group. I think we've just crossed over 40 members over there. Um, not a lot of chatter or comment, commentary going on yet. Once in a while, people will post things, you know, very infrequently. But I'll certainly put updates out there. There's video announcements. I try, you know, every day, every other day to, to put out any videos that have come out. Oh, there was like the train wheel things out there. So I wonder if this town, that's what they're known for. Because they were like on a pedestal, almost like they were being... Oh, ArcelorMittal. I think, I think that's a real company. I somehow vaguely remember one of the companies I used to work for that we did something with them. Or maybe it was some th other company that had a similar name. I don't know. Um, and now I forgot exactly what I... Oh, he gave me 32 euros, Robert did. Wow. That is probably a record for the lowest job payment I've ever seen. Uh, no, what I was starting to say is on the Discord, I, I have put up some material on uh, what I'm thinking on doing is backing off on the much more frequent Farmers Only Club Farming Simulator content because I'm not sure how many people really want that much content on it, but it also provides some space on the channel for me to get the other sims that I'm doing outside of truck sim and farm sim, um, which are kind of the ones that dominate the, the, the uh, channel. And what I was starting to run into was, well, maybe I back off on one of the truck sims, but the truck sims seem to still be things that people enjoy and view at higher quantity yes, than than say bus simulator or uh, project hospital or the other things that i'm working on and then i also uh, am going to start up with city skylines 2 when it comes out i've already pre-ordered it i'm super excited about the sim possibilities that's going to offer and the depth that it looks to have compared to city skylines 1 um, Keep left. and, and turn left. that I was in my head like wh where am I going to put these things and you know I don't necessarily want to be throwing out two or three videos a day and then um, you know struggling to maintain content but yet wanting to do things so that will Keep give up some additional space left. and basically I'll be putting out a farming simulator video from FOC turn what I'm left. trying to do is just basically take an in-game year and create a single episode, a 30-minute episode out of it. So basically getting on, saying what I'm doing, giving a few of my thoughts and make, you know, doing like five, ten-minute segments and then piecing those together into a video over the year. And that won't necessarily do anything for this because these are still on that the cycle they're on because otherwise if I start doing truck sim more frequently, I then start to block out the schedule again but definitely willing to hear from people it's just I don't have enough viewership yet that I've got anybody clamoring for I just want you to do 75% truck sim or I want you to do 75% farm sim you know that anyone is asked to kind of have the channel become something that dominates with one thing or the other and I'm not sure that that would ever happen I think you know, I've made it pretty clear that what I'm trying to do is just be a sim channel where I do sim or sim-like things, because obviously, um, you know, the things that I, you know, when I tried, like, Project 
Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, and again, those may come back here or there. I just don't feel I'm that good at those. And so, just even in my own gaming time, I'm not drawn to them because I'm enjoying the other things more. So those have just naturally kind of faded away because uh, they require much more of something that I, I don't know what it is. Ooh, that guy's... Pound oh, he's chopped a tree down. He's like swinging an axe. Interesting. So, in any event, we have made it. It's an interesting place to deliver cars to. It just looks like a warehouse. I doubt they're going to empty it in there. So, I am a little confused sometimes because in my current American Truck Simulator series, I'm committing to stay in the cab. Uh, where here I'm still able to jump out and and do this. Um, so I that's why it took a little bit when I stopped. I'm like, can I go to the other view? Because <laughs> I am still I am certainly finding in cab to be a struggle, especially like with what I just did, which would have been a, a blindside reversal. Um, it's just hard to see, but. Here we are, and and we're done. So, let's see. Oh, I, that's right, we were so close to leveling up, so let's go take care of that. All right, we've got all our hazmats. So yeah, the logical thing, I guess, is just keep going. I don't know that, yeah, because see, I can al already go to 550. So this was a short one, but that was one of the best ones. That was the longest one I had available from where I was at. So we'll apply this to high value. All right, well, profits, wow, that we're approaching 10,000 in seven days. I don't think I've ever been that high. But we may have gotten to the point where I can actually survive now. I was worried in the beginning of this series whether I would just die a slow, painful death. I mean, it would have taken hundreds of episodes anyway, but it seemed like I was losing a 1,000 euros or 2,000 euros every seven days, so the 78,000 I had, uh, it would peter away eventually. But at this point, we're covering our loan. We obviously had our loan payment. I even had my stupid speeding ticket, and we're still seeing that. So we'll see how things go over time, but we might finally be able to stop worrying about having any issues. So plan is to be back in eight days with another Euro Truck Simulator 2, but as I said, we're getting close to West Balkans, and, and my plans may get a monkey wrench in them, depending on how things work out. But I think I still have some time, and knowing what's coming, I'm going to try to get things in the pipeline so that maybe there won't be a gap for you, uh, as there is when there's a when there when there has been a uh, update where we have to wait for pro mods. So. If you've liked the video, please drop a like, and if you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate if you would do that. Getting close to 1,000, and that would be a great milestone to cross over. I will see you next time.